Ooh. It's flashing too fast. Ah, because not enough light. That's better. Anyway, that was your 50th episode celebration. I guess. Hi, it's Wednesday, and <sighs> I'm still Chris. Here's to you. It's all or nothing here at CRZ Tube. Today is nothing. I got a note from Aaron. And when I made the Sunny 102 reference, I didn't think anyone on the planet was going to get it, and I forgot that Aaron would get it. And Aaron's watching, which I guess is surprising. By the way, your birthday present hasn't been mailed yet. Maybe I'll get it together today. I don't know. Boy. Wish I thought about that a couple of days ago. Anyway, it is now 6 p.m. Current temperature... 71 degrees. I can't believe it either. And in St. Paul, it's 72. To give you some perspective, the record temperature at MSP, and they have records going back to whenever we became a state, 18 whatevers, 64 degrees is the record. And today, I believe they hit 75. So it's not just record-breaking, it's record-smashing. And of course, definitive proof of global warming. Or not. You can never take one day as proof of anything. Let me go to Facebook because I haven't, and maybe, just maybe, there's a comment there waiting for me. Facebook used to remember my name and password, and now it doesn't, which is just as well, because we wouldn't want anybody coming in here and logging me onto Facebook. Nope. Oh, wait. Phil said something. Phil said, Porsche Model 959, because yesterday's video was 9 minutes, 57, 59 seconds long. 57. Seven's on the brain. Thanks, Phil. Still out there. And that's it. So, I'll talk about all the stuff I was supposed to talk about yesterday. Or plan on talking about today yesterday. Right? First I'll show you my shirt. That was a good concert I went to last year. I wonder if they ever put any new music out. They played a new tune, but I don't think it ever got released. Hmm. How about that Santorum, huh? Boy, he's just going to keep the news people happy. Because even though there's no way Romney's not going to get the nomination, the other three guys are going to keep it just interesting enough for people to keep talking about it. And at the same time, try to get their digs in about how the Republican Party is split or isn't enthused or whatever. It's a good thing I'm not falling on that liberal conservative spectrum or else I'd really get annoyed about the way liberal media talks about the Republicans. But I don't. I don't care. They're the same thing. They don't realize it, but, but they are. So, back to the Wolves. How did we do? Hey, we won on Monday. Can you believe it? We beat the Phoenix Suns. 127-124. The highest scoring NBA game of the year. Of the shortened, lockout, shortened, compressed schedule year. Still, nothing to sneeze at, unless you're allergic. Two games in a row with no Wolves game. It's hard to believe. And then tomorrow, it is tomorrow, right? When the next game happens? Tomorrow at Utah. By which time, we will know whether or not they have traded someone or not. 
Everybody on the internet seems all but certain that Michael Beasley is gone. Traded probably in a three-way deal to get him to the Lakers and to get the Wolves. Uh, I've already forgotten. Is it Jamal Crawford? Is that his name? He's on the Blazers, right? And just at the time, because the first link that came up is about Raymond Felton and Jamal Crawford leading a mutiny against Blazers coach Nate McMillan. Really? Seems hard to believe. It's a juicy story, but is it grounded in reality? CBSSports.com? Former sports line? Don't believe anything you read. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I know Rick Adelman really likes Jamal Crawford, so I would not be surprised if it happened. But I will miss Mike Beasley if that happens. But, you know, we're probably not going to pay Mike Beasley next year, so it's better to get value for him now. Uh, I'd hate that he goes on the Lakers, though, because I hate the Lakers. I can root for individual Lakers. Although I've kind of soured on Metal World Peace. But, Bees, he's a good guy. Did my hair go on? Oh, that's weird. So, we'll see. The whole point is, the Wolves can still make the playoffs. They're only a half game out. Again, they have the tiebreaker over Houston. So, all they got to do is pull even with them. That's why they're only a half game out. And there's nothing saying they couldn't go 500 the rest of the way and sneak into the playoffs. I would take a financial hit, but I would pay for playoff tickets with a smile on my face if that were to happen. And I hope you're following Ricky Rubio on Twitter because every day he posts something even more adorable than the day before. It's just crazy criminal how adorable that kid is. Today it was... Uh, him in the store, putting around on a rascal with his leg up. But the whole time, he just had the Rubio grin. And he is either so diabolically clever or really genuinely that cute. Who knows? What a guy. you got to follow him on Twitter. At RickyRubio9. I'm at CRZ. In case you didn't know. I don't post much to Twitter when wrestling isn't on, apparently, but uh, I'll throw a gem out there every now and then. Today I spent way too long coming up with a pie mnemonic. James knew what it was. He retweeted it. Thank you, James. That's all I got. I'm thinking about groceries. I went to the grocery store yesterday and spent 130 bucks, so we're set for Saturday. But I still didn't get any soda to bring to work because I had to go to a different store for that. I'm going to do that on the way home. It's the highlight of my day, going to the grocery store. Oh, when your day is all conference calls, that kind of happens. But I'm going to get out of here. If you got something you want to talk about, drop me a line. You know the routine. Hey, we made it through 50 of these, huh? I don't feel any different. I just feel older. That's my problem, though. I'll see you tomorrow.